works of Henry Darger and Marcel Storr. Uh, Henry Darger is you know, indisputedly the most renowned outsider artist. He was a Chicago janitor who died in 1973 and his life's work was only discovered by his landlord posthumously. And both Darger and Storr, as prototypical outsider artists, were making work that had no foundation in the academy. It was, there's no art historical references or other art movements or artists that these works were really dependent on. And, and in a way, that separates uh, our booth from, I think, virtually any other booth at Art Basel Miami Beach. I brought to Miami Nikki de saint phal and more specifically, a very short period of uh, work called The Shooting Pieces and the assemblage made between 1961 and 1963. This is interesting because it's a bridge, according to me, between classical and contemporary art. The audience here very often notice that this work has been, looks like younger artists. So my idea is to bring her into a context which is different than France. The artwork I'm presenting at Art Basel is an interactive installation called Dance Archie Refugee that functions both as a bar and as an art installation. Um, all of the artworks are new paintings that I made that all have ballet bars in it, so I thought it would be great to have these paintings that have ballet bars in the bar and use this as a moment to have dancers performing with them to illustrate the function of the bar. The performance was brilliant. They were wonderful, high energy, it was great. I mean, it said bars, and I thought it was just literally going to be bars. <laughs> people dancing in there, I'm with it. When I'm looking at the submissions for possible inclusion on um, the Art Basel Kickstarter page, what I'm looking for is a work of art that could only be made by one person. And in general, this has sort of become one of my personal criteria when I'm looking at art. I don't want to feel like any one could have made it or any 20 or 200 of people like this could have made it, that it was really authentically is coming from one individual's voice and only that person could have made it. Our goal on Kickstarter was to raise £15,000 to tell the largely unrecorded history of performance art from the Arab world. We were successful, we raised £17,000, which is um, incredible. Um, but more importantly, people came forth with ideas as much as money. And for this kind of project, which is very much an open research project, we needed contacts, we need to know where our archives existed, where existing papers have been written about this particular subject matter. So on the whole, the launch of the initiative on Kickstarter was very much a launch of the research itself.